Hello, in this video we are going to have a look at a new feature that is content stages. So if you are familiar with how Graph CMS works currently, whenever you create content and save it, it will be saved to the draft stage. And then whenever you like, you can publish that. And each of those publications have different versions and you can go back in time and kind of pick those revisions as and when you need to. Um, and while that is great, Sometimes there's maybe a step in the middle, such as QA. So if you want to publish some content from draft to QA, uh, you can do, and that is now possible with an update in Graph CMS. So once you are logged in, if you head to the project settings and on the left click content stages, you'll now see on the page that we have the base stage, which will always be draft, and then you have some destination stages. And obviously by default, we provide the publish stage. Then we can click add stage and we can add a display name for our stage. And I'm just gonna choose QA here, but this could be any type of stage name you prefer. And then you can just choose a color from here. So it's a little bit easier when you are tracking content throughout the application. So why don't we go ahead and we'll pick this pink color and we'll create that content stage. And then once that is created, all that's left to do now is head on over to the schema. And we can see our schema here, nothing is changed. But if we go to edit content for one of the schema types that we have, we can then publish or we can create and then publish to the stage we need. So why don't we just create a new category here and we'll just call this uh, new exciting graph CMS features. And you can obviously write a description and fill out all of the fields that you have in your own data model. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. Now what this does is like I explained previously, whenever you query content, it will query it from the publish stage, from the draft stage, and then you can choose to query it from the published or the QA or whatever you prefer. So if you click publish to get it into that stage, what we'll need to do is we'll need to click publish on the top here and then we can choose the stage we want. Now the order here is defined by the order we have inside of the settings. So if you were to go into the settings here and we go back to content stages and we drag this up. Now if we go back to content and we edit the draft that we, we, we were creating, you can see now if I click publish, that QA is selected first. So I can then click publish and then that is now in the QA stage. And for each of the different versions, we save. You can see down here uh, that this is staged. However, it's outdated with the current stage. So we can go ahead and publish that and we'll publish it again to the QA stage. And you can see on the right here, we have versions for everything inside of the QA stage. If we switch that to published, you'll see we don't have any versions yet because we haven't published anything. But if we go ahead now and click publish, and we click published here for the content type. And then we click, we, we save that out. We should now see when we go to published here, we have one version in our published stage. So that's really nice. I can see my content is in two different stages now. And that makes it really helpful when I'm kind of writing content. I want to get content approved by for other editors. I can kind of pop it into this stage. And if you are running a, a stage in our development environment, you can query that content by that different stage as well. So if we open up the API playground now and we query for all of our categories, we'll get the stage name and we'll get the title of the uh, category. Now you'll see here by default, it is fetching from draft, but what we can do is we can pass in the arguments here uh, of our GraphQL categories query type. We can then pass the name of any stage we want. So we could pass in QA for example, and you'll see that we get that category that is inside of that QA stage. And we could do the same for published, and then we get this here as well. And lastly, when you are working with your API access, when you are creating any permanent auth tokens, you can specify here what the default content stage is when you are querying content. So that's super helpful if you have all of these different staging environments and development environments and a production environment, the context kind of moves around with you, which is really, really nice. 
If you want to learn more about content stages, please don't hesitate to reach out to any one of us at the Graph CMS team. You can talk to us on Twitter, uh, comment on this video directly, uh, and we'd love to show you through our content stages feature. But all of our documentation is available on graphcms.com docs, where you can learn about this and a lot more.